Hi everyone. So how not to fail at getting healthy or hair weight loss. So uh, one thing I'm going to say is forgiveness. You have to be able to forgive yourself and don't listen to anyone, especially if they're telling you exactly how to do something. You always have to listen to yourself first and your gut instinct. And the reason why I'm saying this, I had um, two videos that I posted prior to this and I ended up deleting them because, I don't know, I felt like I was too preachy and like, I'm doing this, you can do, you know, hey, you know, do this with me. And it's like, who am I to tell you what to do? So, and I'm not perfect. I can't, <laughs> I don't want to be under the pressure of having to do something a certain way every single day because that's not my personality. My personality is one of forgiveness and if you fail, you dust yourself up, you get up and you try again. So I'm changing what I'm doing for February. So I'm gonna start, I'm still doing my whole health February. I'll talk first about hair. I dabbled in doing some of the over-the-counter treatments that they sell at the grocery store that I've decided I'm not gonna do anymore. <clears throat> there are side effects with some of these things and I just don't want that being more um, natural-minded and holistic, I'm gonna stick with the tried and true things I've always done. So that's also why I'm making this video because you have to decide what's right for you and it's always a good idea to check with your, check in with your doctor if you're on medications. Should you be doing certain things? Um, I'm just trying to tell you what I'm doing and you know, if. If, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you know. But I think the, the first thing is forgiveness. If you mess up one day, don't get off track. Tomorrow's always another day. And I feel like good little changes every day make a big difference. So I'm going back to the, the old things with my hair. So for example, the month of February, I'm working on my hair. So this went from a pixie. See, and I'm growing it out to a bob now. So here's today's hair. And I feel like it is getting healthy and I'm having new growth. So this is what I've been doing lately and what I'm going to do for the whole month of February. I'm going back to my L'Oreal. This is the Triple Resist Ultimate Strength Solution. And it does have amino acids. It helps your hair become more strong and resistant. Because with me, um, with my thinner hair, uh, it tends to break off and then it just it, it won't grow any further. So I'm going back into spraying this into my roots and I massage it in. And so there's that. Um, I also am using leave-in conditioners. So here's the three that I have at home. Of course, I have my Kenra Platinum, which is really great because I'll wet my hands, spray a squirt on, massage it together, and just simply work it through my hair, wait for it to kind of dry for a while, and then I might lightly blow dry it or whatever. <clears throat> and I also like this one by Cake, the main manager. It's a leave-in conditioner. It smells great, works great. I actually use it on my son's hair to detangle his hair in the morning when we're hurrying and trying to get him to school. Um, it's best if you put it on damp hair and work it through with a wide tooth comb or your fingers and then you can use a brush. And then also there's the Aussie leave-in conditioner. I've used that one too. And then during the week, what I do, because luckily I can now get my hair into a scrunchie, I use this very thin scrunchie. It's a really soft cotton, so it doesn't break my hair. Of course, using an elastic or a rubber band is a no-go. That will break your hair. So a soft scrunchie, and I can get that in a scrunchie now with some barrettes. So during the work week, what I've been doing is putting leave-in conditioner on, put it in a scrunchie with some barrettes. Now today's Saturday, so I'm like, I am not doing a scrunchie. I, I kind of want to see where's my hair at today when I style it. How close am I getting to the one length bob? And it just gives me an idea and it gives me encouragement to keep this going. I haven't trimmed my hair since the last trim that I posted. You can see it a few videos back, but this is growing out from there. And I know on the video it looked crazy, like it was going to be all uneven, but I think it's looking okay. Another thing I found, which is just a fun thing, is um, I wanted to find a blush that wasn't too glittery, too garish. I stumbled across this Dior blush. I'm gonna bring it really close so you can see. I'm gonna open it so you can see the color too and then I'll tell you what it is. Look at that bright pink color. So, that, and it comes with a mirror, which is kind of great. This one is called um, 001 Pink. 
Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. And I saw some comments online about this, so I went on to, I think I bought this from Macy's online, and um, a little goes a long way. So um, it just makes the lightest, almost like using it like a highlighter, just a little bit of a natural rosy glow, and I think that just adds a little pop of like a healthy glow. So um, I think I got it, um, I, it wasn't that expensive and it looks like this thing is gonna last forever because I've used it a ton and I can still see the Dior imprint all through it, which means it's just gonna last so long. So that's my little fun thing I got just to give me a healthy February or a Valentine's glow, super fun. And when I noticed when I let go of the pressure on myself with the weight loss, it went much better. So what happened was on day one, when I was trying to get used to get all the sugary holiday treats out of the way, because I'm trying to eliminate sugar as much as possible and follow the rule of five way of eating. So again, for those of you who are new than my channel, um, rule of five is you take your carbohydrates and your fiber, you divide them together. If the answer is five or less, that's a good food to eat because it means it's low in carbs, high in fiber, which keeps your insulin and your sh blood sugar down so you can lose weight. The whole point is lowering your insulin levels because that hormone's job is to store fat and to keep fat on you. That's why we want to watch our sugar and increase our fiber if you can. Now with me, I think I have a little bit of a dysbiosis in my gut going on because I ate some healthy tortilla chips and some pretzels. Oh my gosh, I was so bloated. I looked six months pregnant. Now, I've had two kids, so my muscles are a little bit weak anyway. So when I get bloated, it's crazy because my muscles just give way. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I felt really down and bad about myself. Like, ugh. But um, easy fix. I just got rid of those healthy foods that have worked for me in the past and um, kind of back to normal now. So it just goes to show. You may eat something that you feel awful with it, or you look bloated. Or you may even gain a pound. Maybe there was too much salt in it. Just don't give up um, and I'm being kinder on myself like if I want a little treat I'm going to have the little treat I may cut out something else um, so for example we ordered um, my husband ordered pizza and spaghetti last night yeah I put a little bit of spaghetti in a coffee cup because I wanted to try it not a big plate I put it in a coffee cup to limit my my um, size and I know that's full of carbohydrates but I just wanted a little bit so I had a little bit and I'm not gonna beat myself up over it so it's another reason I wanted to make this video that, you know, I'm human too, and I'm going to make little mistakes. So, um, and always, uh, you know, whatever it is, I feel like, you know, some of you are probably so much better at this than I am. Yeah, I, I'm a nurse and I'm also a physician and I may have a little bit more information, but honestly, um, we can't know everything. And, and I admit that too. And I get so many comments from people with really great suggestions. Someone commented about hair and they were talking about Viviscal. And, um, and I was looking into Nutrafol and their, uh, their ingredients are almost exact. Um, and I do like all the ingredients in Nutrafol and in Viviscal also. So I may do that for my hair also. I just am gonna skip on the medicated hair solution. Um, I don't know, I may go end up back and trying it. Um, so, but for now, I'm just gonna stay off uh, medicated things and that just feels right to me right now, but I might change my mind. So, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to bring that up. Um, so, uh, so it's February now, I'm super excited. Um, I'm happy, I'm, I'm loving this new print. I tell you, when I get uh, tired of this dress, I'm probably gonna make a, uh, like, <laughs> a bag or a tote bag out of it. I just love this flowery fabric print so much and maybe because spring is right around the corner, I'm getting really excited for it. Um, okay, I think that's that's the main things I wanted to say as we're kind of heading into a healthy February. Um, just, you know, take the pressure off. We'll just take this one day at a time. Thanks for being here, you guys. Have a great Saturday and I'll see you on the next one.